I am Dr. Bello Espinosa. I work at Orlando Health, Arnold Palmer Hospital for Children. I make my living taking care of children with epilepsy. Childhood epilepsy is a very scary condition for many children and many parents. It happens at all ages. That any healthy infant, child, could have epileptic seizures. Well, we usually do surgery for children who, for instance, may have something that may be in the brain that did not develop well. There could be a few things like onset of confusion, automatic behavior, sometimes they could have some jerking of one arm, one leg, so, or sometimes they could develop some big convulsive seizures where they fall to the ground and so on. So what is more significant is that these events, if they become disabling, you know, when a child who is very healthy, who is doing ballet, who is doing playing sports, or, or an infant who is a toddler who you want to be around and suddenly start to have seizures, right? So when they are affecting the normal quality of life, that's when we have to think about epilepsy surgery. And nowadays it's so safe just to do the surgeries, even in the areas of the brain that are very sensible. So epilepsy surgery is no longer that dangerous operation that it used to be a hundred years ago. You know, you had to help them to overcome the fears about the surgery after to reassure them that there is a high probability that the seizures are not gonna come back. We want to help them to go back to normal life. Usually they have to go through a normal healing process, which is only about two, three weeks, but we have to reassure them that they are going to return to the normal things that we're doing before. So if your child experiences a seizure, um, one of the first things you want to do is don't panic. It's always very shocking to see someone go through a seizure, whether it's um, impaired awareness of any kind or an actual where they're shaking and they fall to the ground. So the other thing is, is you don't want to leave the person alone. You want to stay with them and monitor them and then go get help. If it's a situation where you're by yourself, make sure that they're, they're on the ground and safe from any type of injury. So pillows, blankets if you need to, but you don't ever want to put anything in their mouth and you don't ever want to do anything to restrain them.